welcome to Below Average Gaming. I'm your host, the Below Average Gamer, and welcome to another Below Average Update. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Five Nights at Freddy's new sister location teaser image. Um, Scott Cawthon has actually released a new image of this character, um, this female clown type thing. Um, yeah, super creepy. But there's a couple things that I think we can notice about this character that's going to um, show us some more information about what's going on with the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise, as well as Fazbear Entertainment's in-game. As you can see, I'm completely decked out in my Five Nights at Freddy's gear. I have my security guard shirt on, um, dark purple, my personal favorite color, um, as well as the Five Nights at Freddy's security uh, hat. I have my security tag to be able to access all the locked rooms and secret locations, um, as well as my lanyard. As you can see, it has the Freddy Fazbear Pizza logo all around it. I have a couple, I have actually a huge stack of tickets. That's from something different, a different uh, project I was working on, but I have those now. Um, I have my toolbox for tampering with the mechanisms, just as they did in Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and 2. But yeah, it also helps me store a lot of stuff for repairs and things like that. I have my badge coming in the mail, which I'm actually going to make my own version of. I'm going to use that and edit it and uh, alter it a little bit so I can get one. Because I think that one that I got actually is from Five Nights at Freddy's 1, but uh, my name tag is a Jeremy Fitzherbert. Not Fitzherbert. I always say Fitzherbert from Tangled. A Jeremy Fitzgerald uh, name tag that I made. I can make a Mike Schmidt one if I wanted to, but I, I like this whole ensemble for Five Nights at Freddy's 2 because it seems like it's the origin one. But that's enough about me. Uh, let's go ahead and just hop right into what's going on with this. As you can see in this latest image by Scott Cawthon, we have this clown character. Now if we take a sec to look at what's going on with this character here, there's a lot of things happening. Um, one of the things is, you look at her facial structure. She looks a lot like one of the toys from the original um, place, from the original thing, which means, which makes me think that she's not going to be a tangible character in the game. What I mean by that is that she's not going to be a character that people interact with normally at the uh, attraction or wherever this is taking place at. She's going to be kind of hidden away or up on a stage that people can't get to. Um, because I think that the toys actually had that same type of deal. They're not really tangible, but that's because they were the older versions. I know that you're going to say, oh well the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 cast came first, and then the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 cast, and the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 cast came a second time, which is where Five Nights at Freddy's 1 takes place. But I'm just saying, I, I think that she's in that same vein of the toy characters, but I think that she's from a more modern time. Because if you look, her face very clearly um, is able to emote and move more than theirs could. Theirs actually could not move at all. Their jaws, I don't think, even opened in the original one, in the original, in the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 toy characters. Their jaws didn't open, they couldn't blink at all, they, they stayed like that, whereas in the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 characters, they actually, their mouths could open and close. This one is a combination of both. Her mouth wouldn't be able to actually open and close, but she would be able to emote. We can see that if her face split just right, she could smile, her eyes could even close a little bit to show that she is happy, sad, any sort of emotion. I mean, she's stuck kind of at least in a small smile, but um, yeah. I, which it makes me think that this may, like it says, sister location could be something separate. Very, very separate from the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. Still owned by the Fazbear Entertainment, but something very separate. Which I've noticed that they didn't even put Five Nights at Freddy's in the logo at all. It just says sister location. So I'm wondering if this is going to be a completely separate restaurant, or even if it is a restaurant. Um, a lot of questions there. If we look right below that, it says, everyone please stay in your seats. Which makes me think that, like, again, she isn't a tangible character in the game. She's actually going to be something set aside. Now, she is going to probably come and attack you, or she's going to be the ringmaster to other characters coming and attacking you. But it makes me think that she is going to be set aside from the game itself. Um, when it says, please stay in your seats, my first thought was a roller coaster. As if you're, you're monitoring some sort of roller coaster, or you're monitoring some sort of attraction that is different. Because it looks like they are taking a step away from the... Five Nights at Freddy's Pizzeria type feel. I mean, we can see the balloons in the background, so I'm curious if maybe this is a restaurant where she is like a uh, performer up on the stage or something of that matter. I think that this is going to take a step away from that a lot. Now, next, I want to point out something. Um, I went and I was looking. I actually filmed one version of this recording, and I noticed something, and then I wanted to film another one after I'd kind of inspected it. One is that her teeth are a lot smaller, which is very interesting. Um, I think it's just because she's supposed to be human. This is their first, like, human character. And, like, again, like I said, since this is possibly taking place in the current timeline, currently, like 2016, um, they've made some updates, and they just want to update her teeth and make them look a little bit more human. Um, we can tell by there's a lot of technology going into her. It looks like her hair even has, like, 
technology woven into it so that she can her hair can move and bounce as she moves um yeah really interesting there she's obviously a clown but her, her nose looked pointed the more that i looked at it the more that i started to realize it is kind of rounded off at the edge there <clears throat> but there's a reflection in her nose in, in her hair it's just a reflection of her singing reversed there's nothing kind of shown there her hands again are a reflection of her her cheeks there weren't a lot that i could make out but in her nose, it almost looks like there are ears, almost of the um, Mangle character. Which is interesting, because Mangle does seem to have the most animatronics to it. So if that is Mangle, if that is something there, then it would make me assume that this might be the... Um, that, that's, that's the only clue that I have that this might be from an older generation, from the Mangle generation. Which would put it prior to uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Now, Game Theory, um, Game Theory, Fantastic Channel, I suggest you watch all their Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. They have a ton of stuff for Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, they go really into detail, even guessing, like, how many toes Foxy has and how that's going to be incorporated in. But, yeah, if, if you look at her nose there, one of the things that uh, Game Theory came up with was this idea that it's all in a dream. And Scott actually even kind of echoed that response, like, man, they got really close to what I thought. And it's like, if it is a dream then I don't know where this sister location is going to take place. So I'm curious if Scott's kind of taking a step away from that whole, like, dream theory idea with this whole sister location thing. Because my, my theory on this is that it's taking place at the same time as Fazbear Frights, if not right after. That this is another part of that same theme park that's hosting the Fazbear Frights. Um, or, or something of that nature. Maybe... The insurance money after it burnt down because they do go a lot of detail in like insurance money taxes um minimum wage payments things like that so i don't think it's too far-fetched to say that they they use the tax or that the tax money the insurance money from fastbear frights burning down in the fourth game to fund something new something very separate from that they kind of want to get away from that whole idea of the pizza parlor of the murders of everything and they kind of get this new um animatronic set and i think that this character is going to be very instrumental in that. She is the first character. I'm curious if she's going to be the main character. Because if we look at um, the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 when they were releasing those characters, they didn't release Freddy until the very end in the in the teaser images. They, they were releasing characters slowly, but they actually released, I believe it was uh, Bonnie first, I want to say. Which is a, a key and integral part of the game. But is not the main character. So I'm curious if this is even going to be the main character. I know a lot of people are looking at it and saying like, oh yeah, that's going to be the the antagonist. That's going to be the character that we're up against. That's going to be the new Freddy. But I'm curious if this is even the first character. Because from what we've seen from other times that he's leaked footage and leaked photos and things like that. The first character leaked is rarely ever the main character. I think the only time that it's ever happened I think was Five Nights at Freddy's 1 or 2. Um, but, but one of those, that was the only time, but three and four, the Freddy was actually the last to be leaked, other than I think Foxy sometimes, or, um, or in Springtrap with Five Nights at Freddy's 3, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't think that this is the main character, I don't think that this is the main antagonist, I think this is one of the key antagonists, but I don't think it's the main one, uh, like I said, I think that this is taking place that same time as Frazbear Frights, or if after, I think they're trying to get away from that. So I don't think we have any clues for who this next character will be, but again, I don't think that this is the main protag or antagonist. I, like I said, we can see ears in its nose, or something there. My, my guess was ears, which it looks almost like the mangle ears, because they're white, they're, they're bent backwards, they're only a single segment, whereas if they were multiple segments, I would think that they were something like Bonnie, or the original Springtrap, or something like that, but they do look to be almost like the mangle-type ears. Um, again, I don't know if that's true or not, or what's going on with that. It looks very, very close to the, uh, the mangle-type design. And if it is ears and they are one-segmented, it couldn't be Bonnie, it couldn't be Chica since she doesn't have ears, and they're too pointed to be Freddy, which makes me think that they could possibly be a foxy version and since they are white they are light we can see them in the nose um that this could be mangle now why would they put that reflection why would why would scott put that reflection on just the nose there well because it's the center of the picture itself this entire image the center of that entire image is that nose it's a it's a red color which draws you in and then that white in contrast as you can see the entire thing is red and white but that white in contrast in the reflection of the nose makes us kind of wonder what that could be so that's my one of my theories 
is that this takes place at the time of Mangle, which would be before Five Nights at Freddy's 2. My other theory is that this could be modern day after the Fazbear Frights or during the Fazbear Frights, just in a different part of that amusement park, which makes me wonder, is this going to be a bigger overall thing that this entire amusement park is Fazbear owned? Are we going to be getting more games about the different sections of this amusement park? I don't know. I will let you know that um, my original idea for what people were saying, my original theory for um, Five Nights at Freddy's and things like that was that Scott actually didn't go in with an idea. That he went in, made the game, didn't expect it to be big, and as people started coming up with theories, he formed the game around those theories. Um, slowly. Like, 3 and 4, like, obviously, he had the theories already set, but the whole idea of, like, oh, there were these murders, and, uh, the guy, there were, oh, there were actually six murders, and, uh, 1987 was actually a big deal, and all this stuff like that. I, you know, I think that it's, it's a lot of stuff like that that ended up molding the third and fourth game. I think that the fan theories molded the later games a lot, like, a lot more than we think that they do. So, yeah, um... I, and, and we can even see that in Five Nights at Freddy's World. If you watch any of the Five Nights at Freddy's World, the final boss, which is, spoiler, Scott Cawthon, um, the final boss being Scott Cawthon, he talks about, like, how people were the reason for all this stuff. Where he's like, you know, I, you always wanted me to make games. It was always you that wanted more games. I wanted to stop, but you kept on pushing me to make more. Um, so I'm curious if, it, like, that's what my original theory was with the first Five Nights at Freddy's. That all these theories are what's making the games come to life. The theories don't exist until the games come out, and the game and those theories morph the next game. So yeah, I don't know, but this character is freaky. Like it's clearly made to be a little bit scarier. Um, her microphone's very different from Freddy's. She's holding the microphone much like like Freddy Fazbear does. Which is another reason that she could be the main character. But, I, I, again, I don't think that she's the main character. I think that she's one of the characters. Because, like I've said, with the other introductions of these characters, they're, they rarely ever put out the, first, the, the main antagonist first. It's usually a Bonnie or a Chica. So, I don't know. One of the things about this, this face, too, is that if you look, you can actually see it. it almost looks like there's more armature inside the face than there was in others. This inside, uh, and this exoskeleton, this endoskeleton, actually is very, very different from the others. It has almost this grid-like pattern inside. So, again, that's another reason that I think that this could be taking place in modern day, is that the, the endoskeleton is a little bit more advanced, it seems. So, yeah. Um, mm, spooky, right? Uh, yeah, so I, I, I don't know what Scott's doing here. Just my theories are that this either takes place prior to Five Nights at Freddy's 2, um, just because of the mangle reflection in the nose, or it takes place after Five Nights at Freddy's 4, um, using the insurance money, because it does look like a more, um, but just a more technologically advanced version of what we've seen prior. It looks like one of the toy characters, but just really really like brought forward like there's a lot of segments here which earlier animatronics didn't have a lot of these outer segments at least showing so it, it could be that that's another one of my theories um yeah my my and then i also think that this could be part of his line going like okay that amusement park that happened that fazbear frights happened at has a lot more rides and things, and it's actually an amusement park owned by Fazbear Entertainment, which would be amazing if we just had a bunch of games based off the different ones, creating this entire amusement park that's going off its hinges at night, like, breaking loose. But I don't know. Honestly, if I had to get down to it, I have no idea what's happening here. These are all just theories of what could be happening. So let's go back here. Hi, look, it's me. Um, yeah. If you want to see more theories of what's going on, I did a Captain America Civil War one, and I ended up getting a lot of stuff right, including um, some stuff with Rhodey being blasted out of the sky, um, and who did that, um, a whole Iron Man, Ant-Man interaction that I got spot on, if I do say so myself. So yeah, let's uh, go back and watch that. I have a before and after watching Civil War, as well as this, I'm probably going to have a before and after of... Uh, the new Five Nights at Freddy's game. I don't think that it's going to be called Five Nights at Freddy's. I think that he's actually trying to get away from that brand. We see that a lot in Five Nights at Freddy's world that he's like tired of people pushing Five Nights at Freddy's on him. I think that this is just going to be called Sister Location. And I think that it's going to be a loose tie-in to Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't think that it's going to be completely like titled Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. I think it's just going to be called Sister Location. And I'm really excited to see what that is. I am kind of hopeful for the roller coaster thing. Although I don't know how you do that. It would have to be very, very, very... Um, inventive with how that's going to be handled 
but I'm, I'm excited. I think Scott does a great job with his games. I think he's very inventive with the way that those work, um, making animatronics that are very different than what we would have normally thought of. Like the Springtrap one that actually turns on um, and is an animatronic when someone's not wearing the suit and it could work as both. Very inventive idea, so I'm really excited to see how that goes. Um, this has been the Below Average Update. Thank you for watching. Please continue to watch these videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I, again, I urge you to watch another one, of the, the Civil War one. It's one of my favorites, so just feel free to watch that. And thank you for checking out. You the best. I appreciate you, and bye.